Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 13. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my eyes and honored, and I love you. I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather, gather them. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Bring out the people who are blind, yet have eyes, who are deaf, yet have ears. All the nations gather together and the peoples assemble. Who among you can declare this and show us the former things? Let them bring their witnesses to prove them right and let them hear and say, it is true. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. I, I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I declared and saved and proclaimed, when there was no stra strange God among you. And you are witness my witnesses, declares the Lord, and I am God. Also, henceforth I am he. There is no one who can deliver from my hand. I work, and who can turn it back? This is the word of God. Thanks, William. Good morning, everybody. Let me pray before we have a look at God's word. And now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts be pleasing in your sight, Lord God. You are our rock and you are our redeemer. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, the prophet Isaiah here is addressing the nation of Israel. The situation that Israel find themselves in is that they have been sent into exile. They are a brutally conquered people who have been deported to a foreign land, the nation of Babylon. They've lost their jobs. They have lost their land. They have lost their status in society. Something of their identity as a people is in a shambles. They no longer are the big hitters and influential people that they once were. They've been dragged off against their will to a place they never wanted to go. Crushed and in despair. They have been separated from their family. They've been separated from their children. They've been torn away from close friends, heartbroken. They've had to rebuild their lives and start over from scratch. They are a people that long to go back home these are the people who were famously plunged into slavery in Egypt, you will remember. These are the people who were then later exiled and enslaved by the Assyrians. And now it is the nation of Babylon that has its boot on their throats. Happy New Year. Kind of awkward, isn't it? 
Don't get me wrong, I love New Year festivities like everybody else. But we all know, don't we, that the date on the calendar is not going to change what life was like on the 31st of December. And we also know, don't we, that along with some happiness that this year has in store for us, there's also going to be some sadness. Along with plans, there'll be surprises. Along with pleasure, there'll be pain. Along with joy this year, there'll be sorrow. Along with celebration of new life, there will also be death. Along with gladness, there will be grief. And all of these experiences that I've just described are represented in this room right now as we speak. We said our final goodbye to Francis Stain yesterday. We had his memorial service here at the church. Husband to Brenda. Father to Lee Ann and Francis Jr. Grandfather to James and Levi and Ethan. Our hearts do go out to the Stain family in this time of grief and pain. Ladies and gentlemen, the new year is an old year. When the Israelites woke up in Babylon on the 1st of January, they woke up in Babylon on the 1st of January. Turn with me, please, to Isaiah 43 and verse 1. Listen to what the prophet says to the people of God. But now, this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. Do not fear, I have summoned you. You are mine. But Lord, I am in Babylon, cried the Israelites. It's awful out here. Nothing has improved. Yes, that is true. But do not fear. Because I have redeemed you. I have bought you. At one point you were not mine. I have summoned you. You are mine. You are mine. Thus saith the Lord. This is what God said to the Israelites back then. This is what God says to you now at the start of 2023. Fear not, you are mine. Perhaps you're visiting here this morning. Perhaps you've been invited by a friend 
Perhaps this whole church and Bible thing has never been quite your vibe. Well, how about the God who can look you in the eye and say to you, do not fear, you are mine. I tell you, this Bible thing is the thing. This church thing, being part of the people that are redeemed by God, claimed by him as his very own, hearing his all-powerful words, this is it, right here. This is it. Listen to your God speak to you this morning. Verse 2, hear his words. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, the flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. In 2023, you will pass through murky waters. You will pass through turbulent rivers. You will walk through the fire. It's not a question of if. Did you see the text? It's a question of when. When you pass through the waters, when you pass through the river, when you walk through the fire. But your God says to you personally, I will be with you therein. Those waters, they will not sweep over you. Those flames, they will not set you ablaze. Why? Verse 3, because I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Remember Israel, I give you Egypt for your ransom, says the Lord, Cush and Seba in your stead, lest you forget Israel, that is who I am, that is what I do. You see, our strength, our joy, our comfort, our hope does not come from the fact that, right, this is a new year. No, it comes from the fact that God is the same God. If you come across words that are more significant, more satisfying, and more encouraging than the words in verse 4 in 2023, 
please do come and show them to me. I dare you. Have a look at verse 4 with me. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, says the Lord, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Stick that verse on your fridge. Stick it, stick it on your mirror. Stick it on top of your phone screen, over your internet browsing. Stick it over your YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Take that verse and stick it over your Twitter sayings and quotes on WhatsApp statuses. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. That is your God. He said to the Israelites who were torn away from their children, torn away from their family, this is what he said to them, verse 5. Listen to these words. Listen to God, how he talks to his people. He says to them, verse 5, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east, and I will gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar, and bring my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, for I formed and made them. Do not be afraid. Do you know what God said about the clever, rich, influential people at that time? Do you know what he said about them? <laughs> people who thought that they run the world, who did whatever they see pleased their own eyes, people who have the power to make important decisions, and do a poor job at it? Do you know what God said to the philosophers and the commentators of the time? People who thought that they knew how to explain what was happening? People who thought that they could predict what is going to happen? Do you know what God said about them? Do you want to know what God said to people who underestimated what God could do? Do you want to know what God said to them back then? And what he says to them today, verse 8. Lead out those people who have eyes but are blind, who have ears but are deaf. All the nations gather together and the peoples assemble. Which of their gods foretold this? this thing that I'm doing, and proclaimed to us the former things. Which of their gods? Let them bring in their witnesses to prove they were right. So that others may also say, it is true. Even in exile, the people of God are not crushed, though in despair. 
You see, God is bringing a people unto himself, ladies and gentlemen. That is what he's busy with in this world. That's his project. He's winning a people unto himself. He is saving a people for himself. In time, he would send the Lord Jesus into the world to die on a cross in order to redeem them, to pay the penalty for their rebellion against him, to bring them to God. And just like in the end, God did take the exiles home, actually, against all the expectations of the clever kids, God will, in the end, take all of us home to be with him in the new heavens and the new earth, the new creation, this new creation that everyone today is scoffing at right now as a pie-in-the-sky dream, fantasy. That is where God will indeed make all things new. It's a new year, all right. But that's not the good news. The good news is that God is the same God. Verse 10. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor will there be any after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and apart from me there is no savior. I have, re I have revealed and saved and proclaimed, I and not some foreign God among you. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, that I am God. Yes, and from ancient of days, I am he. No one can deliver out of my hand. When I act, <laughs> who can reverse it? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's stand together and sing. There is a redeemer. <laughs> 